guys, it's Sam. And I'm Andrew. And I'm Vic. I'm Nick. And we're Envy Board Gaming. And today, we're talking about our top 10 most relaxing games. So, you want to talk about what our criteria was? Yeah. So, when we were making our list, um, we had a conversation. And I was like, okay, when you think of relaxing games, you know, what kind of comes to mind? And I think we had about three that, that you immediately know, when, came when, to mind. Yeah. And so the first one was artwork, you know, something that's easy on the mind or easy on the eyes, you mm -hmm. know, beautiful, not, you know, it has really nice graphic design, mm -hmm. um, something nice to look at. So artwork was a big one for us yes. because it just kind of sets the, the mood. Mm -hmm. uh, two was a game that wasn't too rules heavy. So it was yes. generally a lighter game because if I'm relaxing, you know, you're not trying to do trigonometry or something like that. <laughs> you're just having a nice low, medium weight kind of game, right. I guess I should say. Uh, and then the third one would be one that doesn't kind of take itself too seriously. So not very intense, something that, you know, I guess it's not as super competitive, but yes, it's just yeah. not as, a, a, it doesn't create too much chaos, chaos right? Mm -hmm. Not necessarily that it wasn't like turn inks that you weren't like, oh, I need this or that, but like it just didn't create too much tension or mm -hmm. too much maybe player conflict as well. Right. There's still some, but not so much that it was over the top. What about you guys? What was the criteria for you? Let me go over it. Yeah. Um, well, think this posture I'm taking right now, just lean it back a little bit, have some tea, some nice hot tea. That's our kind of game. That's a relaxing game. Um, the art, not so much. I mean, there are beautiful games on this list. Don't get me wrong. But I wouldn't say that it was near the top of our criteria. Um, I would just say something that you can sit back, you can kind of, you know, ease your brain into this game. It, you don't have to think about a bunch of different things. It doesn't mean this is necessarily super light. You know, there could be some thought in there. A lot of times there are games where you just want you want your own little puzzle or something. Yeah. Um, um, so our list, you know, it's going to be totally different for every single person. What is relaxing to you? These are the games that are relaxing to us. And uh, yeah, a lot of that has to do with, what can I drink tea with? Like a, a nice tea yeah, to go with this game. <laughs> when you're games. playing it, this is that. We call it tea games. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, so how about we get started with our uh, number 10, actually, crossovers? You think you're going to have any crossovers? I'm thinking that we will have, I'm going to yeah. say three. I'm going to say three That's crossovers. That's a huge number. What do you think, Sam? I'm thinking three, you think? I think three, and I have, yeah. Maybe the ones that are I'm in my mind, two I'm thinking. crossovers. I'm thinking two? Two cross. One for sure, but maybe two. Yeah, I'm thinking three. I'm going to go... Uh -huh. I'm going to say three. What do you think, Vic? I think two. What did you say, Sam? Two. All right, three, three, two, two. Right. Yeah. We'll, we'll see. Think two. We'll see. Get We're started. Right. How about we let Vic start? My, <laughs> did my thought of crossovers change your number? Where you're like, oh, he probably put that one on there. <laughs> no. <Okay>. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So kicking us off first, a very relaxing game for Nick and I. We have, for number 10, Super Skill Pinball 4K. We just published a video about that that you can check out. A lot of these games we have videos about, so I'm not going to say that every time. Uh, but Nick scored this at 19, uh, so it was not really high on his list of relaxing games. But I gave it a 5 in my list of uh overall ranking. Nick had given me 21 games in total. You had contributed to that list too. I only gave you probably I, didn't, I don't want to say Nick did. Yeah, sorry. Nick and I composed a list of 21 and then we took our methodology was that we averaged it out as we usually do with our top 10s when we're bringing our brains together. So that was no, ranked 19 out of 21 yeah. and you gave it a 5 so it made the list. Yeah, and then we just really have a good time moving that uh, little pinball around and roll and write games for me are really strong for that because sometimes we're watching a hockey game or a football game or something on TV and I, I want to be able to play something at the same time you know and it's really great for us to, to do that and it doesn't take your full concentration necessarily just sure. rolling some dice and allocating uh, whatever you're using that number for and as you mark and I love dry erase markers so that for us it was number 10 okay right. so our number 10 was Tang Garden um, this was the one that kind of broke our rules a little bit for our, you know, criteria for what we thought were relaxing games because it can just be a little more thinky, a little bit heavier. Um, but I feel like when I do play this game, I am very relaxed um, just because of 
having all the tiles out, making your own garden, putting out your pavilions and the different flowers and all of that, like the bridges, just essentially making your own like Chinese looking, you know, garden. Mm -hmm. So I thought that the vis visual part of it was very relaxing for me. Um, I don't think it's too heavy to the point where I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm using my brain too much, but mm -hmm. um, I still, yeah, really thought it was like when I immediately, when he said top 10 most relaxing, that one. Yeah, I think we both, as soon as we were talking about games that were relaxing, we both thought Tin Garden. Mm -hmm. But I do think this is the one game on the list that kind of breaks some of our criteria, but we were like, I don't care, it's going to be number 10. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, so that's why we made it 10. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, number nine for us is a game we've had for a while. It's not new to us, but it is Heaven and Ale. I scored it an eight out of 21 and Nick gave it a nine. So we were pretty close on that one, how we felt about it. Uh, just, you know, a, a very straightforward game uh, where, but it's, it has a little bit of weight to it. It's not too light of a game. Um, it, we definitely don't play it while we're doing other things. Like we only, you know, we're not watching TV or something while we're playing it, but it's just something about just selecting, you know, um, what you're gonna end up putting out, going along that track, and what you put on your tableau, and the decisions you make, just don't feel like brain burners. No, you take the you take the thing, and you pay either light or dark. If it's light, you pay double. If it's dark, you pay what it shows. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Mm -hmm. It's um, not too not too complex. Yeah. About you, number nine. Number nine uh, is a verb and write game. Um, so kind of like what you were just talking about with your number 10. Uh, and actually just got a Kickstarter that delivered as like an expansion slash standalone. And that is Cartographers. Um, this is one that I really enjoy because I am creating my own little map. You know, I am a cartographer placing out these different Tetris pieces onto my board. I mean, there's a little bit of player interaction when those monsters come up and you're mm. rotating your sheet and they're putting those on there. But other than that, it's just very relaxing being able to, again, use these little colored pencils and make it look nice and everything. And it's just a really relaxing game that even I enjoy playing solo, you know, just being able to sit down and do that. And that's something that I find that's super relaxing. And that is my number nine, Cartographers. Nice. I will spoil it. That was one of our honorable mentions. Oh, just okay. fell off. Yep. Okay. All right. Number eight for us, and just because means I'm reading, that means I ranked it a little higher. That's why the note got passed. Um, is a crossover. Number eight is Tang Garden. Tang Garden. I rated uh, number four on my list. Vic had it number nine. And like I said, the art really brings you in. It's a tea game. Right when you get to play in it, and you're putting out, you know, all these different things, and it's just like, wow, this game is really gorgeous, and it's not. It's complex it just it looks like a complex game putting it what's on the table mm -hmm. but your actions are pretty simple it's not a complex game it's not a brain burner by any stretch mm -hmm. and it's beautiful it's absolutely stunning on the table it looks so nice some things are maybe a little fiddly but if you're just looking at the at the production it looks fantastic it's a perfect candidate for a relaxing game mm -hmm. that was our number eight so our number eight uh is one is a is a kind of older game now but it is a got a really nice table presence got these big giant um magnet spheres or i guess yeah, globes dice if you want to call them that and that is planet so um i just really like you know it's super simple you're drafting these little uh, magnetic tiles that you're placing on your planet trying to you know appease these different animals that are coming up mm -hmm. that will want to come and inhabit your planet and so it's a really quick, I think there's like 12 or 13 rounds, super easy game, nice, relaxing, chill. And at the end, you've created your mm -hmm. own planet, which is nice to look at. And you yeah. have all these animals that are living there. So that is our number eight planet. All right. I actually haven't played that. I know it very well. I've looked at it, whatever. But I don't know. Some, sometimes light games, I don't give enough love. I don't know. I just see it like, <laughs> yeah, I got it. All right, number seven is a game that is also has beautiful art to touch on Andrew's point to lead off. It is a game I find beautiful. I don't know if everyone will. I think it looks amazing. Um, it is Santa Monica. I love looking at that game. I'm not a beach guy. I don't hang out at the beach and stuff, but that game just looks really good. I don't know what it is about it. Um, really easy game. You can chill, play this one. Obviously, it's going to be high on the list. It's just the way the game works out. 
Very chill. Very tea game. Very tea game ish. Yeah, Nick gave that a six, and I gave that a seven. Yep, neck and neck. We're pretty much from here out. Maybe except for the next one, we're pretty close on all these. So mm -hmm. the ones that would fall off, we're like we agreed they they didn't deserve top ten, and it was pretty clear. Mm -hmm. So there it is, uh, Santa Monica, a nice card game. That would be one of our uh, one of my honorable mentions yeah. I have on my list because I really enjoyed that game. Yeah. Right, I was just thinking about that too. I was like, when we played it, I felt like it was relaxing. Yeah. I was like, ooh, like Taking yeah, bird. being Put at the out. beach. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's city building with the cards and the right. beach. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I want a smoothie, mm -hmm. not a tea, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, you're number seven. All right, seven. Uh, number seven is chai for us. I love just, I feel like Chai is just such a chill game, um, being able just to fulfill tea orders. Um, very right Nick's alley. He's been talking it, about tea games. Yes. <laughs> um, I mean, the whole thought of like relaxing game, having or having some tea and just chilling, you know, Chai is that. Um, I think it's just, yeah, it's just one of those games that is easy to learn, easy to play. Um, and yeah, the theme for me is just the artwork is nice and it's just relaxing. Right. It has a really me. nice table present with presence with the, the 3d cups and everything, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Yes. So chai is number seven for us. Right. One day you'll get that expansion for it, right? One day that expansion <laughs> will come and then the next day I will do a review for it. <laughs> <laughs> You're relaxing while you're waiting. Right, yes. No rage. I need to have a glass of tea while I'm waiting. Yeah. <laughs> a cup of tea. Long wait for that game. All right. Number six is the first abstract strategy game we have on here, but it's not the last. We have one other one on here. Um, it's a little lesser known, I would say, and it's fairly newer. It is a very relaxing game. The first thing you think of when you put, when you actually play it is this game is going to be, you know, start brewing it, Vic. You already know. This this game, there's nothing more to it. It's straight up a tea game. This yeah. is all it is. It's, <laughs> nothing more is a tea game. This is it. If you don't like tea, don't get this game. <laughs> okay? I'm going to say that for every, every one of these. So I put it at number three. Vic put it at number ten. It's Mandala Stones. Mandala Stones, simple actions, really easy to play, easy for me to teach. We all played it together. Yeah. I felt it was super simple to teach them. It took maybe two minutes, and they got it. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. So it's good for that, um, and you can get it fairly cheap. I don't know. If it's in stock, you can get it fairly cheap. And that's our number six, Mandala Stone. And mandalas are actually for relaxation. There it is. Don't There's like your tea. therapy tip. Right. Don't get it. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, number six for us is Legend of the Cherry Tree. You had to say the full title. That blossoms every 10,000 10, years. 10, years. That's the most unrelaxing part about the whole game is the title. Why <laughs> you needed that part? They it... barely fit it on the box. It's like this big. No, I'm just kidding. Is, is this the newer game that's called like, it just says blossom really big? No. Um, so no, it's got like a tree on it and everything. It's but older. I remember I picked it up just at a friendly local game store. And so <laughs> it's just a little tiny box. I think it's been out for a few years. So it's a, uh, yeah. a, a push your luck kind of game. Yeah. So... It's basically you're pulling flowers out of a bag mm -hmm. and you're rearranging them behind your little shield mm -hmm. and you're getting points for how many combinations of flowers that you can get. And so it's very chill. Probably the most stressful part is what you're going to pull out of the bag, but I mm -hmm. mean, who cares, whatever. But it's just, it's a really pretty, like just literally it's just flowers and I mean, that's what you're doing. and. Right. And components are really nice. Like you have these yeah. little plastic flowers; they're all different colors. So right. you can pull. You can only pull out so many, mm -hmm. or you bust. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you pull out five different colors, you bust. Or if you pull out three of the same color, you bust. And there's some. There's a black flower that's a wild, mm -hmm. so it can make you bust more easily. Mm -hmm. And so it's a really, it, it it's really like, oh, do I want to keep pulling out? But it's super simple and super easy. Mm -hmm. And you're putting flowers in front of your shield, and you're putting them behind you. And so you have like hot, cold uh, themed flowers, but then you have different colors. And so it's, it's I don't know, it's just a beautiful game. The bag is really nice quality. The shields are gorgeous. Mm. The components are really nice. And it's just a nice, chill tea game. <laughs> it's, it's something f like fast that you can pull out too. I mean, yeah. it literally has like nothing to it. I want it. Let's yeah. let's borrow it. Yeah, if we can. Yeah, I'm enjoy. enticed by that. It's like the most relaxing push your luck game I can think yes. of. Yes, you know? <laughs> I love pushing my luck. Nick knows when we play Fabled Fruit. Yep, that's all you lose. I do. That big loser at Fabled Fruit because of that. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, all right, so on to number five. We're already halfway through. Uh, so for us, number five is parks. Uh, I gave it in a two, actually. I ranked it two out of ten, and Nick gave it an eight. Uh, just beautiful, uh, beautiful game. Nice artwork. If you're into that, if you find that relaxing, is looking at really nice uh, pictures of the great national parks in the United States. Just great artwork. Great little t- uh, components to it. And really, you're just putting your hiker out. You're you're trying to fulfill what what the cards say. Really, you're not doing anything too crazy. There's cert- some little things you can add to the game, but not something super difficult to to get your head around. Yeah. And- Vic- Vic gave it a 2 out of 21, not a 10. She's not pooing on the game. Yeah, I'm so sorry. 2 out of 10. Two I give it a 2 out of 10. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. Sorry, I keep forgetting One of her highest, it 21. Yeah. So I ranked it very high and relaxing because I just found that the way that we could teach it to people that aren't gamers really brings it in to have as a filler game. It's easy to deploy. They can see that game, how beautiful it is, the component quality, and they're really impressed. Like, oh, wow, board games have really changed. And we've done that twice to people with parks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. That's an honorable mention yeah, for us. Yeah, it definitely was. I think I just get stressed out because I'm totally worried people are going to take the spaces I want on the trail and then claim my card. I'm like, no! I, we were talking about it. And he's like, but I get stressed on the trail because I, I thought you were going to take my part. I was like, I really want to put it on there, but I'm constantly freaking out. <laughs> don't take the gear. Don't take the gear. Don't take my card. Yeah, we have a snake expansion where you just trust snakes, rattlesnakes on the trail. And you're really stressed out. <laughs> But yeah. yeah, I would agree. Definitely honorable mention. Right, yeah. All right, so number five, right? We're on five? Yeah. So our number five uh, is uh, made by, designed by my favorite designer, and that is a Bruno Cathala game. And uh, it is probably one of his more popular ones right now, and that is King Domino. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so I really love King Domino. This is a game that... Uh, I have a buddy that bugs me all the time to borrow it now because yeah. he likes it so much. But it's so nice and relaxing because, again, kind of like when we were talking about cartographers, you're building your own little kingdom, right? The only stressful part part is maybe, you know, drafting the tiles and hoping that people don't take them. Mm-hmm. But it's really, really just nice, and it's I, I enjoy watching my kingdom grow. And so that's the part that I really like about this, and you can make it... You know, you can do those the smaller five by five, or you can go to the larger kingdoms if you want to play a longer game. Uh, and because I like this game so much, I'm super excited about King Domino Origins. So I'm looking forward mm-hmm. to that game because I know it's like the prehistoric kind of theme on it. So yeah, King Domino, I really like that one. That's our number five. It's getting good reviews. Um, Origins is getting really good reviews, yeah. and that was an honorable mention of ours, by the way. Oh, yeah. King Domino. Yeah, I have a lot of fun playing that. Uh, so for us, number four is another abstract uh, strategy game. It's Reef. I gave it a three out of twenty-one, so it was ranked number three, very high on my list of relaxing. And Nick had it at a five. Uh, just you know, really easy again to learn. It, it's really simple. I did the instructions for it. It's not too complicated. I have friends that don't play games that have seen that and want to play it. But for when it comes to relaxing, it, there's two possible actions that you can do. The chunkiness of the pieces are just fun to, to mm-hmm. manipulate. And uh, it's just not overwhelming. It's not a tough, not a lot of par- analysis paralysis going on. Yeah. And we just find it a great way to unwind. Mm-hmm. Yep, good call. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Reef is relaxing yeah. too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we sold it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Too relaxing, get it out of here. <laughs> Uh, so number four. So for us, our number four is actually one that you taught us, mm-hmm. uh, and that is Kanagawa. I really enjoyed this game. You know, you're you're using these different paints to paint these beautiful panorama pictures, and mm-hmm. it just it looks so nice and so chill. Um, I don't know if this one will be on your list, but I, this is one that I was thinking might be a crossover. Yeah. And so yeah, Kanagawa. I just everything about it, I like it. And so I haven't got it yet. I'm still just waiting for Nick to, you know, tell me he doesn't want his anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so Kanagawa, uh, definitely one if you haven't checked it out. It's pretty cheap to get, actually. It's on your Christmas uh, list. It is on my Christmas <laughs> list. And so, um, 
<laughs> so yeah, definitely check it out. It's a nice, relaxing little game. I even love like the component quality with like the little like bamboo stuff. Yeah. I like that. That was nice. I was like, oh, it just it just feels good mm-hmm. just to play. He's it like, I love these little paintbrushes. Nice. Yeah, the little <laughs> the little things too. I love it. And so yeah, Kanagawa number four for sure. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't have that on our our list of twenty one. I, I had the same issue, not issue, but for this list issue that you would have with parks about turn angst. Like, oh, I really oh, need yeah. that deer. Don't you dare <laughs> take the deer. Um, and there's also that one rule where you can't go back. Once you pass up something, you can't go back. You're like, oh, you pass it up. Too bad. Somebody else gets it now. Um, but definitely art, the presence. Yeah, that's you can easily see that on the list for relaxation. All right, we're into the final stretch here. Number three for us is a game that I just can't stop talking about. I am always talking about this game. I if Nick asks me what I want to play, I always say it, and I don't. I just love it. I just want to. I, I got. I don't know. I'm obsessed. So the game is Carpe Diem. Uh, it. I gave it number one as relaxing because I just love it. I like tile placement for when it comes to relaxing. Tile oh, yeah. placement for me really feels like that and just to be able to make so many interesting choices in the game but it's not the heaviest weight it's not a game where it's really brainy uh, brain burner it's not but there is some, there is things to consider about it you know you have objectives that you're trying to score and you're looking at what the other player might take and uh, when you play two players two tiles disappear from each section of that uh, rondelle once uh, you've depleted taken two away so mm-hmm. that's things to think about but it doesn't matter because you know you always find another way if somebody takes something you really need there's ways out of it Uh, just what a great game i really have fun playing it it's relaxing to me it is kind of like a masterpiece already um just the design how well it scales when we play it too it's amazing when we play it at four it's amazing um it does such a great job like Vic said, it's not a brain burner, but there's a lot going on. Like you have to look at a lot of things. You have to look at your framework and what's going to be on the in the forum. Mm-hmm. It's like, whoa, there's kind of a lot going on, but the rule set is so clean. I move this adjacent, I take the tile. Oh, I put the tile. Well, this goes to that framework. That's perfect. I want to go this way. Oh, such a good game. Now the artwork is not sexy. We got the reprints. <laughs> it's the opposite. Uh, of the sexy. artwork is not going to relax you. It's not going to make you feel nice inside. What's the opposite of sexy? Hideous? I, yeah. <laughs> it's it's borderline. It's pretty bad. hideous, but you know it's something. <laughs> you got to put a bag over it. <laughs> <laughs> you do, a little now bit. it's fine. Yeah. Well, one thing we found uh, was very relaxing is I was in a high stress situation at the Dice Tower cruise uh, one night. I couldn't find Nick, and we didn't have any way of communicating with each other. And after that fiasco where I had to have him paged by guest services, uh, we were able to play Carpe Diem and I caught on to it very quick and it chilled me out. Mm. So Carpe Diem, definitely. One. Yeah, that one's, that one's on my list of once too. That's such a good That's game. on your Christmas list too. I, such a good I thought you bought it. Was no, it's just another one I'm hoping just, you know, you know I'm just I'm like, you'll never get rid of that. Don't one. buy <laughs> so many yeah. games because Christmas is coming and your right. birthday is coming. Yeah. So. Yeah, chill until December 1st. <laughs> yeah, if you're watching yeah. this and you know my list, I mean, I'm totally down. <laughs> we'll take donations. Right. Yeah. Um, so all right. Number so three. number three for us is Takanoko. Yeah. Um, I love those little pandas. I just, I feel like this was one of the first games that I played with Andrew. Mm-hmm. And... I loved it. And for the longest time, I, he can't sell it. He can't get rid of it because I won't let him. Right. Yes. Yeah. And so, and yeah, it's like, I just love the tile placement. It's just so pretty. The artwork is so pretty. I mean, I guess you could get stressed out if some the someone's panda comes over and eats your bamboo. That could be stressful. But I just feel like... The gardener's like, stressed out about that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he is. But I feel like in general, when we're playing, like, and then you get the baby pandas. And yeah, then it's just, so. it's just so, like, chill. And just, like, it's just, like, a fun game. And so, yeah, Takanoko is number three for us. Yeah. Okay, number two is handing off to Nick now. Well, number two, it's going to me because it's my number one on this list. It is Vic's number six. Instantly, we do we uh, contributed to, just like you guys did, um, to uh, Dice Tower, Favorite Game Friday. We've done that, and there was a relaxing category. This was our pick for that. Um, it is Dragon Castle. Dragon Castle is the tea game. So that was the original one. That's where I came up with it. It was Dragon Castle was the first one. I remember Vic was making tea. and like, man, this is perfect. This game is um, just... It's not my favorite game of all time, but for what that is, I think it just fits the category perfect. So I ranked number one. Um, it's uh, 
mahjong type tiles, really high quality, really beautiful. Um, not a difficult teach. I guess when you throw the dragons and different things in there, there's something new to teach every game, but not much. And I, I just think it looks fantastic and it's really chill. So. And true to what Andrew has said, it's nice to build your own thing. You're, bu you're building out your own palace. You're not really too concerned about what other people are doing, although you're going to look just bit. to see, don't take that tile. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not, you know, there's always ways out. There's other things you can consider and, it, you know, just so much fun. Mm -hmm. All right, number two. Uh, number two for us is Canvas. Um, initially, when we played this game, I was like, it's just so, I mean, you're making Canvas art, and it's really fun because you can just make so many different cool combinations, mm -hmm. but it is not, it is one of those games that it's not that long to play, it's not difficult to learn, it's a game that we can play if it's like before bed, we're just relaxing, and it's just something easy. You have different objectives that you need to complete, and I mean, <laughs> and we have a fun time too, like making goofy pictures and like how ours ended up, you know, there was like a kitty with flames in the background and just like, I don't know, it was just a really yeah, and you get chill interesting game. interesting names of the art pieces, and so it's just nice to, yeah. you get caught up not even trying to necessarily win, because you're like, I just really want to make this cool looking painting, like yeah. why not have a kitten and fireballs? So, like, <laughs> yes, <laughs> and I, I think that is like part of our criteria, is like not taking something too serious, right. and this is definitely a game that we just don't take too serious, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, so Canvas is number two. All right, we're down to our number ones. All right, number one for us, I picked as my second favorite for this category. Vic picked as our fourth, so it got the best score. Um, it is newer than Dragon Castle that we, I don't know when we got this, maybe five months ago, something like that, maybe mm -hmm. a little longer. It's a, just a card game. Um, it is Herbaceous by Pencil First. This is uh, what it was designed for. It was designed you know, for that sole purpose of relaxing. That You can tell right from the box. You can tell what they're going for. It's a chill game, um, and... Herbaceous, it, the simple rule set, you draw a card, do you want to draw now, do you want to score, what do you want to do? And it just passes back and forth, it's really simple gameplay, um, you can tell by the art what they want you to feel in this game, they want you to sit back and just not take this game too serious, like you said, and just score when you want to score, when you're ready to score, and you know, it's just good back and forth card game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No take that, nothing like that, occasionally you're going to take cards that people want, like, oh I need that sage, but they're just, you know, the cards are really nicely illustrated, there's just... Um, herbs on all the cards. We say herbs here in America. I know you call it herbs if you're European or Canadian, right? Herbs? I'd say it. I don't speak herbs? for all Canadians herbs. so far. Herbs is a gentleman's name here I in, like uh, in America. Herbs. Not a common one. <laughs> no. No. Herbs is how we say it. But, yeah. I'm not sure over 70. <laughs> so herbaceous, or maybe it's herbaceous if you're European, but that's our number one. Yeah. Our number one is the newest game on the list. Um, and I actually thought maybe it would end up on your guys' list, so obviously we're not going to get to those three crossovers. No. But our Plus number one, two. Uh, we did play with you guys, and that is Cascadia, one that we really liked uh, a lot, mm -hmm. and probably one of our most played games this year. Mm -hmm. I even had the the honor of being able to teach some people at Gen Con this year as well, and they loved it, playing it. Again, you're just building your own little world, you know, placing these animals in there, and they mm -hmm. each score differently. And yeah, you have that turn angst of, oh, don't take the combination that I want, but I just really like it. And even though the tiles look a little weird with the how they're cut up and everything, it still just looks really nice on the board. It's relaxing. You're just kind of focused on your own little thing that you're building. And I think that's probably a, a trend in a lot of these different games that we're talking about is mm -hmm. just kind of focusing on your own little thing. Yeah. Uh, but it's just such a nice game and lots of replayability with all the different scoring cards. And so, yeah, Cascadia was one we both had in our top three when we were thinking about mm -hmm. this list. Like, yeah. okay. it was Cascadia for sure. A lot of ours lined up. I mean, mm -hmm. we did kind of have to maneuver, like, the, the top ten, but I feel like for the most part, like, we were pretty close. I think we had at least um, five or six. Yeah. When we were so, going through. But I agree with you with tile placement, because I love tile placement games. Mm -hmm. To me, that is relaxing when I'm placing things together like a puzzle. Um, and Cascadia, I like, you're doing your own thing. You're interacting with other players, but you're building your own wilderness with all your, an the different animals and things like that. And I just love 
being able to play games like that, like you're you're in your own little world, and so yeah, I feel like that's exactly what Cascadia is, and mm-hmm. that's why it's so relaxing. That one just fell off only because we've only played it once. It was with you guys, so we've just bought the game. It's still in yeah. shrink, um, it, but it was honorable mentions. So that really, you know, after one play, I can say it was considered mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah. Um, as far as honorable mentions, off the top of my head, I know we had uh, Onitama, uh, Ohanami, Hanami Koji, Jaipur, um, all. Just off the top of my head, there's a bunch more Lost Cities was on that list. A short list right there of honorable mentions. Did you have any you wanted to mention? Mm-hmm. Uh, I know we had Noctiluca was on there because, yeah. you know, we we're like, ah, another Shem Phil. I was like, I can't Noctiluca. do it on every list, you know? <laughs> I was like, I already got Bruno Cathal on there. I can't throw Shem. <laughs> well, and he said with the dice, he was like, I don't know, it stresses me out. What about the right. dice? Like, I'm not really dice. sure. It's but a little brain it's still, Yeah, it is very, uh, yeah. it's a neat game. And another one that I find that's really relaxing is one that we can play with our almost five year old, and that's Karuba from Haba. Because mm-hmm. again, you're building your own little trails and trying to connect those adventures to the same colored temples and that's something that i really like and it's relaxing i think when we're talking about these relaxing games you guys are talking about tile placement and it does remind me of like doing a puzzle which is something i would do you can have your tea i'll just do puzzles <laughs> <laughs> so, uh yeah. azul was another azul, yeah. honorable mention too yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah that was a good one i can't think of any others um you wanted to put Abyss on your list. That's right. I was like, really? I did. But then I was like, eh, maybe not. I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. Course. Kahuna was one that was on our list. But there was a little mm-hmm. much to take that. You know, it was a little back and forth. I, I can't remember all of them. Obviously, we had 21. So there's a few. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think we got a good solid 10. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> definitely. Well, let us know in the comments below if you have a relaxing game that you think we didn't discuss or we didn't hit on yet. And like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to our channel for more great videos. And we will see you next time. Bye.